In a future where disease, pollution, and corporate greed have made getting a delicious meal more difficult than ever, the residents of Night City must prepare their food without eggs, dairy, or meat. This is Cyberpunk Kitchen. We will recreate meals from the action role-playing game Cyberpunk 2077 using ingredients that are readily available. So let's get started with today's recipe and see what a cyberpunk future might taste like. The reference for today's recipe is a conversation between Jackie Wells and V during the prologue portion of the game. Mm. Man of the hour! <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> For those of you who are rusty on your Spanish, sopa de fideos, translated to English, is noodle soup. Keeping with the cyberpunk kitchen rules of no meat, no eggs, no dairy, I had to find a product that matched the synth sirloin that Jackie mentioned. I found just such a product at the health food store. The product is called Seton, which is primarily made of wheat gluten. The noodles were easy. Rice noodles, just as they are, don't contain any eggs or dairy in them. If you've ever had pad thai, you've had rice noodles. Now I've been trying and failing to make good Asian style noodles at home for years. It wasn't until I took the advice of a friend who grew up in the Philippines that I was able to make consistently edible fried noodle dishes. My mistake was adding more and more oil to the noodles to try and create a creamy sauce. That was all wrong. The noodles will make their own sauce if you let them. Start by soaking your noodles in cool water. I'm usually cooking for two, which is about half a 16 ounce package. Let the noodles soak for about 20 minutes. You may have to flip them around in the bowl for even soaking. Meanwhile, prepare the rest of the ingredients. I will be using an onion, half a green pepper, about a cup of chopped mushrooms, and finally some bok choy. It really doesn't matter. In fact, you don't have to add any veggies at all. Noodles all by themselves are good too. Other ingredients include two or three cloves worth of crushed garlic, a teaspoon of grated ginger, and a cup and a half of soup stock. For some added kick, I'll also add some sriracha, oyster sauce, and soy sauce. Start by heating a tablespoon of oil in a high-sided frying pan or wok. When the oil is hot, add the garlic and the ginger. When the garlic and ginger start to give off its aroma, add the veggies. I like to add the vegetables in order of how long they'll take to cook. For instance, peppers and onions take the longest time, so they go in first. Mushrooms take the shortest amount of time, so they'll go in towards the end. The synth sirloin is already cooked, so it goes in last. If you were using real meat, you'd want the meat to go in first, so that it has time to cook all the way through. Add a tablespoon of soy or oyster sauce over the veggies, and stir fry them till soft. Don't worry about them sticking to the pan, we'll deal with that in a sec. Once the vegetables have cooked down a bit, use tongs or a pasta spoon to remove the soaked noodles from their bowl and gently add them to the fry pan. Note, the noodles will still be relatively stiff, try not to break them. Pour the soup broth into the pan. This will deglaze the pan, removing any food that's stuck to it. Pour another tablespoon of soy or oyster sauce over the noodles and bring to a boil. Then turn down the heat to a simmer. Turn the noodles and veggies over with tongs every few minutes. 
can't stress this enough, be gentle. Don't break up the noodles. Add a quarter teaspoon of sriracha to sharpen the taste. Add more sriracha if you like your noodles hot. The liquid in the pan will start to thicken and form a creamy sauce. At the same time, the noodles will be soaking up the liquid and getting softer. At this point, remove the mixture from the pan and serve. The nutrition for this recipe is going to vary wildly depending on the specific ingredients you use, so take this with a grain of salt. So now let's see what the Primo meter has to say. Who doesn't love Asian style noodles? This recipe gets a preem because of its simplicity, versatility, and great taste. Almost anything that you can fry in a pan is going to taste great with the addition of noodles and some spices. If you try this recipe, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching.